This is uh, a repeat uh, uh, attempt to uh, get calibrate the magnex. So for this particular case, I've went to an already cleared area, which uh, you'll notice the lanes are kind of falling apart because they're two or three months old and the sun has destroyed them, but these lanes are already cleared. And basically the lanes are one uh, meter wide and I've created uh, three one meter wide lanes uh, at 10 uh, meters long. So that's 30 square meters. Uh, I took the Valon and I went to, out of the four settings, I selected the third highest, which is low, medium, high, extra high. I went on high and I started scanning the ground in order to uh, determine the highest uh, magnetic uh, readings, laterite and magnetite on the ground and I flag them. We have a total of 19 flags that they have registered above uh, three, uh, both positive, negative, up to the highest of 6.5. Uh, you will notice some of the flags are lying outside simply because I could get like a reading of five, so I wanted to record it. Turning the uh, magnet to the recommended Flag 2 of lane 1, I have uh, plus 15. Flag 3 of lane 1, maximum 20 plus. Flag 4 from lane 1, we have... Proceeding on flag one on lane two. So this is flag one from lane two. So we get a minus 20. Uh, this is this is the the second. Uh, this is area here, both flags registered. I have tied them together because they had a steady signal over three on the Schoenstatt. And I get a reading of between uh, 10 and 14. 10 and 14. We'll continue with the third flag on lane two. And I'm getting a reading of positive Six. Next flag on lane two. I'm getting a positive of 15. Next flag on lane two. I get a minus 20. Minus 20. Now I'm proceeding on lane three. It's okay. So here we're proceeding the first flag from lane three. Minus 20. I'm proceeding to flag 4 on lane 3. Even 20 minus and more powerful. Proceeding on a flag that is outside of the lane but it was extremely strong. 
strong signal. This is plus 20 and above plus 20. Uh, this is around plus 20. I'm veering again off the lane simply because it was a very strong signal. And this is minus 20 but extremely high signal. And this is the reason from the tone you can kind of detect why I crossed over the lane. I'm proceeding to the flag before the last one on lane three, which is minus 20. And we proceed on the next one. Minus 20 again, but more powerful than the previous one. And that concludes the test. You can stop it. Here we have a reading of a cut 75 millimeter HE frag shell with a shunt set at setting high. This is scans. So the reading, which cannot be read, is plus 5.3. This maxes out to the very high, 6.01 and cannot go any higher. Situation, we're waving the magnex over the area to compare with the short steps. I'm starting getting a reading. So I'm already getting readings of 20s. So I've identified the item. So here I'm getting to, from plus 20 to minus 20, plus, minus at the very edges of the 75 millimeter HE frag shell, which has been cut. And now I'm going to be waving it to, to see the distance uh, at 10. So right now I get no reading. So very low, and I'm going down, I'm at about five, seven, and now I am 10, 10, 11, so this is, so this is the distance for an intermediate reading of 10 to 12 between the probe and the shell. And 